the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word he shut up the heavens, and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds whose glory is equal to yours, you brought a dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke down their powers into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats of Sinai at Horeb, avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taking aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come to put an end to the wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers towards their sons and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship, for we live only in our life. But after death, our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind. Then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life, he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes round about. His lightnings illumine the world. 
The earth sees and trembles. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught, all gods are prostrate before him. We rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I'm praying do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows that you need before what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, Neither will your father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. The Our Father, the most popular, the only prayer that Jesus taught in the Gospel. The, the prayer that is so intimate, so powerful, so so much of a part of the life of faith. In the Our Father, heaven meet earth. In our Father, God meet human. In the Our Father, the characteristic of God is mentioned and invoke and inspire and and incorporate in the life of those human beings that he loved. Brother and sister, when we pray the Our Father, learn the truth about God's being. Our Father, who are in heaven, the very clear statement of who he is. Hallowed be thy name, I praise your name. I praise that your kingdom is on earth. The kingdom of God on earth is a reality of God's being in the heart and the soul of those who believe. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then we transition into what happened to to those who believe, to those who accept, to those who allow God's will to act. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Nourishment, renewal, rejuvenation, and and forgiveness as we forgive those who trespass against us. We are to live with God's grace and God's forgiveness. We ought to show that in the people in the world around us. Lead us not into temptation, but forgive us from me. Forgive us from, um, 
and forgive us um, our trespasses. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Brother and sister, living that life of faith is allowing ourselves to, to realize that God always leads and God always allows us to be, begin to understand and to love Him and to be forgiven and to be renewed by His grace. My for the Father's love for us, let us bring our needs before Him. For the church and its works to build a kingdom, God on earth, may God continue to bless and strengthen his, this divine mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who work to serve the common good, May God's justice and peace shine through their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who struggle with hunger, may God provide them with abundance and his spirit bring them consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those gathered here, may the Lord's teaching shape our lives and his grace conform us evermore to his heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, may God's eternal light shine upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. The special intention for today's Mass is that we pray for the intentions of Father's Day Novena. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we entrust ourselves to you by living as faithful followers of your Son. We ask that you hear these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. When we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body and all in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
He says to remind us our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels will praise your majesty, dominion, adore, and powers in tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray to partake in of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Union Antiphon. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this I do seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. share one our hope 
up in despair on the cross that we bear. God of all, we look to you. We would be your servant true. Let us be the love to all the world. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you. St. Michael, Michael the your angels, defend us in battle. battle. Be your protection against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O thy open to the heavenly host, by the power of God, throw us into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.